Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Leppard with ConcertIndia.com, here today with another cello lesson for you guys. Recently in a video you watched us, we talked about actually getting started with your fingers. If you've been following us along, we've been talking about the detache bow stroke and the bow hold. And today we're going to get started with some actual repertoire, both things that I will give to you and also things that I want you to find for yourself. So if you watch the uh, video on beginner position, first position, um, the first key that we played in was D major. So this key is the key that we're going to practice all of our songs in at first. It'll be the most accessible and it'll really help hammer in the muscle memory for this major uh, hand position that we have in first position. So the first song that I'm going to teach you is the first song that they teach in a method book called Suzuki that you may or may not have heard of, which uses a progression of tunes in order to teach you how to play. These are actually great supplementary books to be getting if you've been watching this YouTube channel. Get Suzuki book one, and it'll help you practice your sight reading, and it'll also give you some of these songs that you can practice that are all meant to be sequential. So the first one that they teach is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And when you do that, the first thing that you have to do is play two notes back to back on the D string. You remember how this song goes. The next two notes are the open A string. So this is why this is such a great song when you're first starting out, because the song itself kind of follows the progression of what I've been teaching you, starting from open strings, then changing strings. Then we're going to put our first finger down for the, for the fifth note. <laughs> Excuse me. So those are the first five notes of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So obviously it's very imperative to be able to really land that first finger, which kind of comes out of nowhere. And the bowing that we'll start with is just this detached detache bowing, but you can practice all sorts of different bowings. You could do it backwards, for example. <laughs> starting up bow, or you could slur into each note. As you notice just there, the slur into the A string introduced a different technique and a different type of challenge, and then you have to work on not getting that squeak. The way that you do that is by really considering the fact that when you change strings, the angle changes and you're really starting basically a new instrument on the new string. All right, let's finish out this melody. We have the first five notes. The next notes, if you've been practicing your major scale, this is going to be a cinch for you because it's just a major scale going downwards. <laughs> Just going three, four, three, one, open. And then there's the B section of the phrase. So this is this is really great. When you're when you're working with a song. Primarily, there's going to be, especially in classical music, kind of a first theme and then like an answer to it, a question and an answer that is talked about a lot in music. So we have this first phrase. Which is kind of a question in of itself, it has this answer here. But then it continues, it continues to ask this starting on the A string, but just going down the scale. And again. But now, what happens with the melody? The melody comes back, the A section. So this 
kind of three-part form is going to be the main thing to look out for when playing classical music, where there's kind of an A section and then a B section and then kind of an A section again. This is a very, very simple version of what becomes basically the symphony format called sonata form that's just literally every single classical and romantic uh, work for a sonata or a symphony. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's crazy. It always starts the um, with a A section and then a B section called the development and an A section that comes back called the recapitulation. So that's what happens in the final. So let's let's just let's just go back over all this. There's the two questions and answers. It goes to the second, the B section question and answer, and then it comes back to the top. The reason that this is all important is that even from the beginning, you can be thinking about this song uh, in whole. In any song that you work with, I want you to think about that. Where does it go to? What are the extremes of dynamics and everything that you're going to do? What's the extreme of the range? This song only doesn't even go a full octave. It just goes that range. So these things are important because when you're playing that note, that's the high note of the whole song has a certain significance to it. And paying attention to the nuance of those is what makes music, music, not just the difficulties of the technique of this. So let's finish it out, follow along. If we're doing the detache bowing, you'll notice that when we do the second phrase, it'll start up bow, but that's okay. Later, there can be things like bow retakes or different slurrings that you can do. If you like the sound of always starting down bow better, it's good to practice different ways anyway. But for right now, we'll just do separate strokes. <laughs> We play this one a little differently. Okay, great. So that's a great song to start out with. Other songs that you learned when you were younger, anything that's a little simpler is going to be a really great song. Try to put it in the key of D, you know, Ba Ba Black Sheep or any of these other uh, songs that are kind of simple. We'll just get you started playing with the notes, playing with the melodies. And I want to give you one more thing, which will start training your ear, which is to find a song that you like that has a relatively simple melody and to try working out what that song is even if, especially if the, the, the key is already in D or if it's in G or C, then you already have the tools to do that because it's the same fingerings on the different strings. So this is how we'll get started. I'll, I'll include some other potential starting songs in the description below. Once again, I'm Justin Leopard with, uh, you can check out my playing at Justin Leopard Cello. This has been a production with Consordini.com. We really appreciate you guys watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.